Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on restrict network access using firewall-cmd slash firewall. So in this case I will cover just the firewall-cmd. It's got exactly the same functionality as the fully fledged firewall um, interface and all the uh, usage is exactly the same. It's just that with fire, firewall-cmd you don't have to install anything. So I generally find it easier to uh, use the C uh, CMD and I also find it uh, easier to uh, manage as well. So that's my recommendation is use firewall CMD. But again, it's up to you what you use. Um, so for those that don't already know, uh, a firewall is a, a device or a piece of software that um, allows or blocks traffic. So generally you have it in line so it goes in between uh, a bunch of servers or um, a particular network and it will restrict access to only a specific IPs or specific um, ports on the servers or specific services for example. So perhaps you have a, a web server with HTTP running uh, you'd have the firewall configured it as such that you'll only be able to get um, access to port 80 and perhaps port 443 for web services um, remotely only and the rest of the services will be only available within the local network for example. So what we'll do first is we'll create a new zone within our uh, firewall configuration and then we'll also um, list the, the current zones and then we'll do uh, a bit of work to uh, add services into the zone and then finally we'll add our network card into that zone so that actually makes it active as such and obviously um, you could have multiple network cards in different zones depending on obviously what um, network it's currently facing so um, first thing to do is the command line is all firewall hyphen cmd firewall's command and let's get the zones and you can see a list of zones here so obviously block is block everything essentially um, you've got so a lot of like public trusted work and stuff like that and these zones allow you to split up your network cards into different zones if you need to or have specific rules in specific zones so let's do firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen zone work hyphen hyphen list hyphen all. So we're going to look at this particular zone, zone work, and then we're going to list all the entries or configuration in there. So there's currently no interfaces configured. There is actually some services, uh, SSH, you can see, uh, DHCP v6 or to get an IP, uh, v6, IPv6 address, and cockpit which is a uh, Red Hat service. So we've got no specific ports or protocols configured. We don't have any masquerading or NAT enabled. Uh, we're not forwarding any ports or anything like that. So yeah, you can see just a quick overview of the, uh, the configuration of that particular zone. If we wanted to create a new zone, we would go with firewall hyphen CMD hyphen hyphen new hyphen zone and then give it a name. Let's just go so servers. Oh, and because we need to make this permanent, because as I said, this has to be a permanent rule because you're adding a new zone. So uh, that's one thing to mention here. Actually, uh, with the firewall CMD, uh, if you don't ever, if you don't specify permanent, these um, these options will not be made um, permanent. So they, they, if you reboot, you can clear those uh, firewall rules. So if you do mess something up you can just reboot and it will all be clean again. So it will only be permanent if you rerun that same rule with hyphen hyphen permanent. So at least you can test it out and see how you get on first before you make it permanent and get completely stuck. Also uh, with any rule you make any difference a change in the firewall CMD you have to reload the configuration so it's hyphen hyphen reload to get it to reload the configuration. So you get a success mes message if it's all good and we can do Again, we can do that uh, list the um, to get all the zones. 
So if we do firewall hyphen cmd hyphen 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 get hyphen zones, we should now have the additional zone servers. Which is here, which is great. Cool. So if we do another clear here. So the next thing would be to assign specific services to a zone. I would definitely recommend stuff like SSH and if you're running like a web server you might want to add those into the zones to give access to those. So let's do that. Let's do SSH first. So zone servers add service SSH and we can do we can do permanent because we know that's pretty safe. So now I've added that rule uh, to add SSH, let's do a reload as always. So firewall cmd hyphen hyphen reload to pull up the information. And then we can do firewall hyphen cmd and do zone and then servers hyphen hyphen list. Oh and we can see the service SSH has been successfully added there. After adding the services you want into the firewall rules for that particular zone, you then want to add the interface into the particular zone. Because then, then it'll actually apply the firewall rules into that zone. Because it'll make it active on that interface. So we need to do a firewall CMD change interface and then the interface name will be your actual interface so I've just copied that from earlier so it's just my interface name uh, it doesn't it literally just only matches whatever your interface name is in your system you can use something like if config to double check that uh, in fact I'll just do that quickly now just to show so if, we do if config we can see all the different interfaces and obviously I've just selected this one as my secondary interface for testing so I'll do that again so it's firewall I can CMD change interface and then we've got the interface name zone we're going to put it into zone servers and then we're going to make it permanent because that's the only switch you can use for this so it pretty much has to be permanent okay awesome so that's configured I looks like I've already done that previous so that's all cool so if it's already done you can see that message at the top but it's just saying it's already done because uh, I did try it out earlier that's all good so file with CMD and then we can do uh, zone servers and then hyphen hyphen list hyphen, hyphen all whoops and we have it see it's inactive now you can see this interface is here you can see the services it allows and listed there awesome finally um, if you're all happy with this configuration we'd actually set that as the default zone you can all you can view the uh, all the zones currently assigned to each interface um, so that will get all the, the active essentially uh, zones so we can do a firewall cmd hyphen hyphen get active zones and that will list all the active zones so we can see my servers zone I created earlier and the interface is currently active we can see the public uh, interface which is this and then we've got the uh, virtual interface which is a virtual bridge we can set the default zone um, using set hyphen default uh, zone and then we can just say let's say service for example and that will set that zone as default and then we can do firewall hyphen cmd and then hyphen hyphen reload to pull that information okay so that should have everything there for that so the next thing is um, I want to cover is just how to whitelist additional services so uh, how do you know what services actually the firewall is pre-configured for 
So we can actually get that very easily. So we can do firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen get services. And you can see there's a massive list here. Um, but you could also do a, I don't know, grep and then do, and if you look at page HTTP, you can see that there is, it's there. There's HTTP, HTTP en entries. So it's good to know you've got quite a lot of common um, services that you'll, you'll probably get you use will be there so we can see it there at least so so if you want to add for example the HTTP server we had the example of so we can do firewall hyphen hyphen cmd add service HTTP and then hyphen hyphen permanent cool and we can do HTTPS and they'll add it to your default zone. So because obviously your default zone is the one that you're going to be most likely to be wanting to manage, you've it will automatically default to that. But you could also specify a particular zone if you wanted to. Um, what was one of the ones that are active previous? So yeah, can do can do it that way. Um, and obviously it can be very flexible. We can do also do stuff like CMD add port and then we just give the port number and then the type is it TCP UDP and then again permanent and if we do a firewall CMD zone servers and then hyphen hyphen list oh oh I didn't do a reload did I so let's do a firewall CMD hyphen hyphen reload. Oops, spell firewall CMD correctly. Let's do a clear just for. And let's do a list all. We can see the port has been added there. And we've got HTTP, HTTPS, and SSH. We've got also interfaces added because this is the default. We've made it as well. So finally, uh, let's do some removing. So so again, firewall cmd hyphen hyphen remove service http hyphen hyphen permanent. And we could do the same https, it's all very simple. And then firewall cmd hyphen hyphen remove port 8080 slash tcp and open permanent and then firewall open cmd hyphen open reload then do a clear and then we just do a list all again and we can see the it's been successfully removed so yeah it's, it's pretty I think the firewall cmd is pretty simple uh, you've just got to get your head around the, the zoning and how a, a zone is just like a, a, a box essentially that you can put your interface in and once you put your in particular interface into that, inter, uh, into that zone you then a whatever you manage within that zone will be active for that interface so if you block SSH on one interface and allow on another interface that means via that, in, via that one interface that's allowed you'll be able to get to SSH by the interface that's blocked you won't be able to get into SSH so obviously whichever IP is active on the interface that's allowed that will be the IP you'll be able to get to SSH on that server on. Yeah so that's pretty much all I had to cover there I may have gone uh, quite into detail for this so yeah let me know if uh, anything's unclear we can cover it um, again in a later video anyway and there's, there's more um, there's additional steps later on as well for this particular section. Thanks again for watching. I, as always, I've put my um, Kofi page for any donations. That will be uh, fabulous on the screen as well. Now, uh, I've put my T public for any merchandise if you're interested in anything like that. And finally, uh, my Discord channel for any questions if you've got any. Thanks again for watching. Catch you in the next video. Thanks again.